What are you doing to my mic stand, bro? Hey! Hey! Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Speak. No. This is Ellie. Meow. Say hi to the camera. Nope. Oh, okay, she wants to go down. Alright. Alright, welcome everyone to this NCAA, well, not NCAA college football. My bad. All right, don't don't cruise fry me. College football 25 dynasty. We are doing the team builder dynasty, like everyone should. On um, if you're gonna make a dynasty uh, series, it should be team builder. We are going to do the Rhode Island Sailors. Obviously, URI, the Rams are not in the game. They are FCS school, so they are not in college football 25. So I figured make a team from Rhode Island. And what better name than the Sailors? We are, I'm from Rhode Island, the Ocean State. So I replaced UConn because they're a one-star school. They're also an independent team, so who cares? And our main rivals in this series will be UMass. Uh, it makes sense. That's their rivals in real life is Brown University and UMass. So every single season, we will face UMass. Maybe to open the season every single season. Maybe not. It depends. But UMass will be our main rivals. Now, you guys will see the uniforms as we go on, but there is one alternate uniform that I will probably wear most of the time. And the roster preset is Cupcake, so we're 72 overall. I'm probably going to start off Season 1 playing only the moments up until I build the roster I want uh, through recruiting. So, Season number 1, I'm not going to play that much. Um, probably some games, like if we go against really good teams or if we go against UMass, those games I might play the entire game. But for the majority, I'm only going to be doing moments. So let's get into it. We're going to select add team builder schools by X. I already added a team builder school. All right, so I hit back. All right, uh, Donnie. Okay, I'll do all of this. We are going to move Rhode Island to the ACC so we can also play Boston College um, during the season. So our two main rivalries are going to be Boston College and UMass. I'm going to keep UMass in the independent. So it's just Notre Dame and UMass. So those will be the custom um, conferences now we're gonna advance I'm gonna make my coach and I'll see you all at the beginning of the season after I pick our Rhode Island say where are they right here the Rhode Island sailors say hello to Rhode Island's coach John pork he is 5'5 392 pounds um, yeah he's sick I'm gonna run the Kent State offensive playbook because I actually use Kent State in my personal dynasty after I um, ended up taking a job in West Virginia and I really like Kent State's playbook so we're gonna use that playbook for now maybe I'll switch it up we're gonna go to a base 3-4 defense my alma mater is gonna be UConn because obviously you can't do a Rhode Island one so since we took over UConn I'll just make that my alma mater and for pipeline New England obviously everything else is saying basic um, so we're gonna hit continue and we are going to start this dynasty the Rhode Island Sailors obviously we take over UConn um, so we're going to sign this contract. Last season, they were 3-9. and nine. This team has been horrendous ever since. Their goal is to win four games. That might be difficult because we're a 72 overall. We are guaranteed the worst team in the entirety of college football. So winning four games might be tough here. And here we go. Custom schedules, obviously. Um, so I guess we can only change. Yeah, we can only change some of these. Oh, where are we facing? There we have us UMass as the last game of the season. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to change that or not. Damn, UMass was 1-11 last year. That is bad. Oh, uh, there we have us locked in against Boston College. Do I want to face UMass in week six? Or do I want to face them at the end of the year? Um, and they do I already have it as a rivalry game because UConn and UMass was a rivalry So that's one of the main reasons why I chose this. They don't have us in Boston College as a rivalry um, But yeah, UMass is our main rivals in the game, which is sick uh, So I'm just gonna leave that game as is though. We'll start at the end against UMass um, week six They have us as a tough start because they have us we have to go to we have to face North Carolina Also, the, the stadium is called Duncan Stadium um, we have to face North Carolina week one, number 23 Miami in Hard Rock Stadium. We have to go to Louisville to face rank 20 Louisville, Virginia Tech. We have to go to Pitt. We have th four road games in a row. This one, we're moving to home. And then we got Boston College, Wake Forest, and then a bunch. Damn, they, this is a tough schedule. All right, our custom schedule. 
I want to endure pain. We're going up against LSU, not in Death Valley. We're going to be at home. And then I put Rutgers for New York and Buffalo, New York. Just two close teams we can face that could be interesting games. Seeing we're about on the same skill level. So that is our schedule. Is Honestly, they gave us some... Probably because we're in the ACC. They gave us some tough, tough uh, first games. I did pick Recruiter for my... Uh, whatchamacallit. So immediately we're going to start putting our points in the quarterback. Because I'm sure that we're going to need that. We're going to have to build our team around a quarterback. Let's go look at the team, to be exact. So the roster, 72 overall. Our best player is a 79 overall middle linebacker, Chase Freeman. He's got 81 speed, 87 excel, 84 awareness. Not bad. Our second best play. Oh, he's also a senior. Um, our second best player is a punter. Uh, 77 overall. Matthew York from Honolulu, 6 foot. Um, what's his power? Because I'm sure we're going to be punting a lot. So he's got 93 kick power and 84 accuracy. Not too bad. He's got a lot of physicals. Deep range, coffin corner. So he's actually a really good punter. Uh, we have a senior wide receiver here. Uh, Demetrius Williamson, uh, number three from Exeter, New Hampshire, 87 speed, 90 Excel, not the fastest in the world, but he is 6'3", and then it takes a big drop off, 73 overall, right guard from Boise, Idaho, um, he's a junior, he looks okay, pass protector, he's got pocket shield, uh, then we got Javon, I think I said that right, Javion, Foreman, wide receiver, six foot, um, from Montana, uh, he is a 72 overall. We got a junior running back, or starting running back, actually. Um, Spencer Strickland, 86 overall. Uh, Taj Coles, left outside linebacker, 72 overall. He is a junior. So is Kalen Franklin, our right tackle. So it looks like our O-line isn't horrendous. Our starting quarterback, though, he is a 6'3 field general. Tyler Olsen, he is a senior with 82 speed, 84 excel, only 79 awareness. Not great at all. Um, 86 throw power. 87 shorts really good, actually, for a 70 overall. 81 medium. His deep accuracy is absolutely useless, so we're going to be throwing a lot of short and medium passes with him. Um, free safety, Nicole Solomon, for also from Exeter. Watertown, Connecticut. Jaden Bowie is our cornerback with 91 speed. Very, very interesting. Our second quarterback is David DePaul from Oakdale, Connecticut, with 89 speed. Um, and then we got a bunch of just not good players, halfbacks. We do have a halfback, Keontae Tyson, uh, with 91 speed. Wide receiver-wise, they are all slow as molasses. Our two top wide receivers have 87 speed. Um, Scooter Page has 88. And then CJ, yeah, I guess, yeah, CJ. I've never seen his boat like that. CJ Peaks has 84 speed, so... Our fastest wide receivers are 59 overalls and 62 overall, so we're not going to be throwing the ball much. Uh, our tight end at 75 speed, Scott McLawler, 62 overall. Left guard, 69 overall. Uh, Jalen McDonald, I think we already saw him. Demarcus Perkins, uh, Kalen Franklin, we already saw him. Starting left end, Joshua Townsend, uh, 72 overall. I think we saw him. Our starting right end is awful. Kobe Garland, 64 overall. Our, de our defensive line is bad. Uh, Deshaun Weeks and Jerry and Love are two starting D tackles. Left outside linebacker Taj Coles. We saw Chase Freeman, middle linebacker. So our middle linebacker core is pretty good. Bubba Van Claiborne is our junior middle linebacker. Um, Octavius Terrell. These names are insane, bro. Jaden Bowie starting cornerback. Thank God he has 91 speed. Uh, Noah Collins Jr. and uh, Terrell Pace. Is our cornerback core. We saw Nico Solomon starting free safety. Starting strong safety. We do not. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, Quincy Blue, 66 overall. And Ian Wells is our starting kicker with 90 kick power. Terrible accuracy. So that is the Rhode Island Sailors. Um, I'm going to go through and redshirt players on my own time. Um, we already have our scheme and playbook. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of scouting here. And then we'll advance, and then that'll be the end of the video. Next episode, we will um, actually hop into a game. So I'm going to go through, add some prospects. Um, I'll see you all in a little bit. So actually, we're already number three on Skylar Van Lennon's board. Right tackle, three-star. Arizona's number one. So I definitely think 
we can get him. He's from Everett, Mass. 6'7". We're going to add him. This right guard, one star. We're already first on his list. We're first on this guy's list. I think O-line is definitely a necessity. This guy's a scrambling quarterback. It says we don't need him. I accidentally hit R2. We're already close on this guy. Ve Maponga. Nebraska's over. I think that's Nebraska. Is already over there. We're going to add him. And then here's this athlete scrambler. I mean, if we throw this guy a scholarship, he might immediately commit. Same thing over here. Emmett, I am not... I don't even want to add you to the team because of your name. We're first on this... Don't mind the cat climbing my chair. We're first on this three-star tight end from Arizona. He is a blocking tight end. We're also second on this vertical threat 6'6", tied with Boston College, also tied with Utah State over here. So there are some players that have, like, serious interest in me. Are you hitting my mic, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, so, yeah, there are actual players with serious interest in us. All right, we got all five targets. Uh, we're going to go after the top guys first, mainly you. I want. I know you're 5'11". I want to see how you're looking because right now he's not a gem, but he does have 86 throw power, 81 deep accuracy, 83 under pressure. He is not fast, but we're definitely going to offer him a scholarship. Um, I mainly want to look at these quarterbacks first because that's where we put our recruiting points in. Um, I offered him a scholarship that might put us above. Um, I think that's Nebraska. Um, he's already got a deal breaker. I don't know why the playing. I, I guess I'll get rid of him. But you, you'd be starting, buddy. Our quarterback is a fresh. I mean, a senior. So I don't know why playing time is a C plus. So seeing that, I'm not even gonna waste my time on him. Um, this scrambler, we're going to 92 throw power, and he's a gem. His short and medium needs work. 82 speed. Offer him a scholarship. Uh, Memphis is above us. I think that scholarship will jump us above. Another scrambler. He is also a gem with 88 throw power. Bad accuracy, though. But 92 speed. Offer you a scholarship. And then this guy's also a scrambler. Let's see. There's no way. Three, 90 throw power, 81. 90 acceleration, 73 speed. I'm going to take him off the board because we've already got three QBs that look really solid. This guy's got 83 throw power. Could not be accurate for the life of him. 86 speed. We're going to keep him on the board because uh, he's second. Halfback wise, I think we're going to go look at this man right here, Dion Lewis, who is <laughs> a real life name. 70 zone. He doesn't need to be a great coverage guy. 89 excel, though, is pretty solid. 83 speed. Um, we'll offer him a scholarship, but he doesn't seem like much of an outside linebacker. This tight end, we're already, like, top on his list. Let's see. I hope he has good speed, even though he's a blocking. He is a bust. You're a blocking tight end with 69 run block and 63 pass. Yeah, he... This guy, yeah, he looks terrible. Um, I still might offer him a scholarship since we're already first on him. Maybe he's decent enough to get minutes we're second on greg sims so we are gonna go throw some points at him he also looks like a bust 77 catching at 85 speed to bet throw him a scholarship 85 speed i need i need some quick tight ends uh we're, we're, i keep hitting r1 we're gonna be running out of points here soon we found a gem here mike Pollock. 85 strength only 71 power move um 74 hit power offer him a scholarship that should be enough to get us at least the top two. And then we're going to try and use the last of these points. This athlete right here. He's agile. Is he a wide receiver? No, he's a... What are you? Um, pass block. What position even are you? Are you an offensive 81 lead block? You can't block. For, you, the pass and run, you can't block. But lead block, you're solid at? Since we're already so high, like, the players that we're already so high on, like, top two, top three, it w does not hurt just to give them a scholarship because they're almost guarantees to join the team. 83 carrying, 89 speed, a little slow for me. Uh, he is a power back, though, 81 trucking. Offer him a scholarship because, like I said, we're, we're already second for him. Um, this guy is a receiving back. He's 5'9", so it's not like we can swap him over to... Uh, 
What is happening, bro? Why is this so... Oh, we don't have enough points. We don't have enough points. So I'm just going to blindly offer this D-Tackle scholarship. I forgot we ran out of points. And then we're going to simulate to the next week. Like I said, we're not going to play, but we're going to see how close we are on these guys. And then we'll end the video. Um, these guys, these two quarterbacks, we didn't really move on. We didn't really move on these quarterbacks. We're, we went down. We moved about the same on Boston College with... Uh, Ve Mopanga, he's the improviser. He's not. This is a gen gem. Josh Urbic, I guess. Um, Ole Miss, really? Oh, we have another bye week. All right, I'm gonna simulate. We're gonna do this one then. I didn't know we had two bye weeks straight away. I want that that gem QB, bro. Why is Ole Miss a five? Oh, where? Are we? Oh, he's from. Okay, I'm stupid. He's from Missouri. Uh, do I just throw the house at him or do I go look at like we could probably get Emmett over here I don't think he's as good he has 88 throw power Josh has 92 Josh has better accuracy from short one better one less medium throw the runs a lot better break sacks a lot better um this guy's got 92 speed I guess I'm going to throw what I have at Emmett over here. We're honestly just going to send the house on him because it does not hurt. Uh, we're going to leave Josh as is. We're still number one for Connor Smalls with 83 throw power. He's got 86 speed. So uh, we're going to offer him a scholarship. He is only a two-star. And then this guy, Ve Maponga, we're number two on. He's, he's, he's like a main like thrower. Um, we already offered him a scholarship, so I'm going to leave it as is. This three-star running back we're number one on above Syracuse. Um, 83 carrying. Yeah, he's, this is the one with 89 speed. Um, we go down on Eric Clapp. Because we oh, we couldn't even fall. He's got 86 speed. Yeah, he's a boss. I don't even want him. Second I saw 86 speed, I don't want him. Uh, Northern Illinois is going to get Sammy Schlegel. So we're going to top him out. Um, Liberty's going after Lloyd Glennon. He's a receiving back. I don't really want to waste points on him. not going to lie. Right receiver wise, uh, Timote Alfahai. I don't know how to say his name, bro. What is your speed? You have 86 speed. And you're 6 1. Catching traffic's okay. We're going to offer you a scholarship just because we're so thin at wide receiver that honestly, anyone comes in and helps us. Anyone comes in and helps us. Spec catch. You have 86 speed. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not adding these guys. With such little speed. Um, this guy is a bust. But he has... This is a guy with... Oh no, this this is a blocking tight end. Um, UL, ULM is trying to take him from us. Honestly, I'm fine with that. I think this is a guy, Greg Sims, with 85 speed, Boston College. Um, we're going to throw um, a 25 at him. See if we can jump over Boston College. Uh, Utah State is trying to get Rob McKnight. Um, let's see if we can do it. Oh, he's a gem. Uh, he is a blocking tight end. So you know what that means? Keon Connors, get off my thing. Rob McKnight, I'm going to offer you a scholarship. Uh, Utah State has not. So hopefully that leapfrogs us above them. And then we're going to use some of our last points on this possession tight end. He's 6'2". He's got 82 excel, 83 catch. Uh, we'll throw him a scholarship. See if we can jump over Rutgers. And then uh, Rutgers is going to get this guy. Uh, we're going to offer him a scholarship. We're not going to we're not gonna sc um, scout him yet. Because I want to see how far we can get on him before I do that. Then this offensive guard. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to offer him a scholarship. See how far we can get on him. Oh, uh, we, we're going to have to throw some points here at this center. Even though his lead block's 81, we're gonna we're gonna throw a 25 at him and hope he doesn't go to Liberty. I think he will though. Uh, Liberty's kind of got him locked up. Uh, this three-star gem left end. Yeah, we gotta we gotta throw whatever points we have left at him, and then see how that works out. And then we're gonna simulate. Uh, we're we honestly we're close on some commits. Let's see. We're first on that QB. We overtake Syracuse. He's already at his top five schools. I hate when this happens. We're at 67 overall now, apparently. 
Uh, I don't know why I said we were 72. Um, Emmett, I'm not saying his first name. Uh, we're fourth on Josh. I do not think we're going to get him. So we're going to focus all of our assets on Emmett. Um, Greg Sims, we jump leap over Boston College. And Rob McKnight, we, we leap over Utah State. Also, this screen at the bottom right is not always accurate. I just noticed I'm kind of blocking it, but you can see most of it. Um, first on Earl Toon, uh, Gabe Worthen, we're first on by a lot. And then Colorado is on Deion Lewis's ass, bro. Yeah, Deion, Colorado is taking Deion Lewis like to the house. We also haven't really offered much to him. Um, they, yeah, we're not getting they. We're going to remove him off the board. Um, yeah, we're running away with Sims. Mike Pollock is really wants to go to Boston College, huh? I'm not going to take you off. Yeah, I'm going to throw some more points at you. Um, but that does suck. Um, but where's that QB? Yeah, Josh, we're going to take you off the board. No need for you to be here. And then we already sent the house on him. Syracuse is kind of... We, do, we leapfrog them, but they're still right there. So we can't really throw any more points at him. We just gotta gotta wait until he uh, he's ready for a he's ready for a visit. Bet. Um, um, I think we're gonna bring him in on Boston College, even though we have a better chance of beating Rutgers. I just don't want to bring him in too late. So we're gonna bring him in on Boston College. Um, we're gonna do proximity to home, definitely, because that's like our best recruiting. So that might be able to lock us in on him. Syracuse is running away with Doug Ellington, so uh, have fun. Liberty's running away on Lloyd Glennon, so we're going to have to look at more running backs. Wide receiver-wise, uh, Timothy Ofali, whoever you say his name, we're number one on. Um, so we're going to actually throw some points at him, probably contact friends and family. Um, and then these wide receivers I'm not too worried about. I'm going to add some more players to the board. Uh, we're number one on Rob McKnight, number one on Greg Sims, number one on Chad Schomer, Earl Toon. We are going to... We don't really need to add more points to him. Um, this guy... We'll scout him if it lets me. If it's not too slow. He looks solid. He looks okay. He doesn't look great. We'll offer him a scholarship. But he doesn't look fantastic. This left guard... We're getting somewhere with. Um, he is a gem. So we are going to... Say screw it and send the house on him. To try and beat Boston College. He's going to Temple. That's fine. I respect it. Um, and then we already offered you a scholarship. We have 40 more points. You're going to Boston College. Like, yeah, that's useless to keep him on my board. Same thing with you. Well, we haven't even really. You're going to Rutgers. The pipeline's just better. Boston College. You're probably going to Boston College, too. I ain't going to lie. Um, we're gonna, we got to try and steal this D-tackle. So, honestly, before I even do anything... I'm just gonna throw points at him. I'm just throwing points at him. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna scout him. I just want to steal him from Rutgers, and that is all we have for today's episode. Uh, next episode, we're gonna be going up against 0-1 North Carolina, our home opener at Duncan Stadium for the Rhode Island Sailors, and you will be able to see the uniforms. Yeah, the uniforms. They they're clean. I'm telling you. Okay, Kitty, they're clean. I'm telling you. So, stay tuned. If you did like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. GG.